Good evening, Nasoitha. Police say they're keeping an open mind as an investigation continues into the death of a five-year-old boy whose body was discovered in a river in the San area of Bridgend. Toys and floral tributes have been left at the scene near where he was found in the early hours of yesterday morning. George Zielinski reports. Police and police tape remain at the scene where the body of a young boy was found. The five-year-old discovered in the Ogmore River near Bridgend's Pandy Park at around 5.45 yesterday morning. As police continue their investigations, local residents have left their tributes to the boy. Flowers and other trinkets left by the scene of what is a tragic incident. In a statement, Chief Inspector Geraint White of South Wales Police said they were working hard to establish the full circumstances of his death so they can fully provide answers to his family. He added it was an extensive investigation and that many people have been affected by the death. After being found in the river, the boy was taken to the nearby Princess of Wales Hospital, where it was confirmed he'd died. His family are being supported by specially trained officers, and police are requesting people don't speculate about the incident on social media as the investigation continues. A 15-year-old girl died after a domestic disturbance at a holiday park. North Wales Police said a 19-year-old man's been arrested following the serious incident in Abergele yesterday. North Wales Police were called to team out holiday park yesterday following the domestic disturbance, which led to the death of a 15-year-old girl. They cordoned off the area and an air ambulance was also called to the scene. Today, the police force confirmed that a 19-year-old man had been arrested in relation to the incident and is currently in custody at St Asaph. Detective Superintendent Mark Pierce called it a tragic but isolated incident, while bosses at the caravan park in Conoy County said they were shocked and saddened by the incident that took place inside a caravan, which is now a crime scene. Police have expressed their thoughts and condolences and the family are being supported by specially trained officers at this time. They are urging anyone with information to contact 101. There were five further deaths of people with coronavirus reported by Public Health Wales with 719 new cases. On to vaccines and nearly 2.3 million have received a first dose while over 2 million have received both jabs. Those figures come as young people in Wales won't be offered incentives to get a Covid vaccine, according to the Welsh Government. The UK Government announced today that young people in England would be offered travel and takeaway discounts in order to increase uptake. But the Welsh Government said that in Wales, 75% of 18 to 29 year olds had already taken up the offer of a jab, compared to 68% in England. The incentives there will be offered by brands including Uber and Deliveroo. Three children and an adult had to be rescued during a flat fire in Cardiff. The fire happened in the early hours of this morning in a residential apartment above the Park Plaza Hotel. Those rescued were taken to hospital but were not seriously hurt. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Organisers of the National Eisteddfod hope the Welsh Language Cultural Festival will return next year. A virtual event of almost 200 events is under, underway, but a limited number of people have been allowed to attend live performances in Aberystwyth. Chief Executive Bet Betsan Moses said they'll spend the autumn considering plans for the next Eisteddfod. Some football news breaking this evening and Swansea City have confirmed Russell Martin as their new head coach. The 35-year-old signed a three-year contract at the Liberty Stadium after compensation was agreed with his former side MK Dons. He'll now be in charge of Swansea's championship opener against Blackburn next Saturday. Olympic champion Hannah Mills says she and her partner Ailey McIntyre have been feeling sick with nerves as they go for gold in the women's 470 sailing. Mills from Cardiff is aiming to become Britain's most decorated female Olympic sailor by winning gold in Tokyo. She and McIntyre are in first place overall with two more races to come tomorrow before Wednesday's medal race. You can't really control the other boats too much, um, particularly when there's 21 other people on the course. So I think definitely first race tomorrow, we need to just sail our own race, try and get the best result possible, and then look at the points after that for the final race before the better race and see. That's all we've come here to do is to deliver our best performance on the day. And, and so far, I'd say we're, we're, we're close to that, which is amazing. 
Rugby and British and Irish Lions head coach Warren Gatlin says the deciding third and final test against South Africa next Saturday will be a cup final. The Springboks drew level in the series with a 27-9 win in the second test in Cape Town yesterday. Gatlin said his side have a few things to tidy up. The weather now and this evening will be dry with plenty of late sunny spells. Overnight will continue mostly dry with a mixture of clear spells and patchy, patchy clouds throughout. Tomorrow will start with some sunny intervals, although many areas will be scattered showers developing in the afternoon. Highs up to 20 Celsius. We'll be back with the late news at 20 past 10. Until then, bye-bye.